Hello, how to solve for a and b in this equation a plus b is equal to 12, a b is equal to 66. Solution. Then a plus b is equal to 12. Let's call this equation 1. a b is equal to 66. Let's call this equation 2. Now from equation 1, let's make B the subject of the formula. B is equal to 12 minus A. Now we can now substitute for B in this equation 2. From equation 2, AB is equal to 66. Then when B is equal to 12 minus A, we have A bracket 12 minus A is equal to 66. Let's open the bracket. A multiplied by 12. This is 12A minus A multiplied by A. This is A square is equal to 66. Then let's rearrange this. We have minus a square plus 12a. Let's bring this to this side because minus 66 is equal to 0. We can divide all through by minus 1. Then if you divide minus a square by minus 1, we have a square. And if you divide plus 12a by minus 1, we have minus 12. A. If you divide the minus 66 by minus 1, we have plus 66 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. Our quadratic general formula is giving us A is equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2 a where a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 12 and the c is equal to 66 then here we have b square minus 4 ac which is discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 ac this is equal to b square that is minus 12 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by c is 66 then this is equal to minus 12 square that is 144 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 66 that is 2 c is 4 then this is equal to 144 minus 264, this is minus 120. And we can plug in this. Our equation become A is equal to minus bracket B, that is minus 12, plus or minus square root of minus 120 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then a is equal to minus multiplied by minus 12. This is 12 plus or minus square root of minus 120 can be written as 4 multiplied by 30 multiplied by minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. This is 2. And a is equal to 12 plus or minus this can be written as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 30 multiplied by square root of minus 1 divided by 
two. A is equal to 12 plus or minus square root of 4, that is 2, then square root of 30, and square root of minus 1 is i, divided by 2. Then we have A is equal to 12 divided by 2, plus or minus 2 divided by 2, square root of 30i. This will cancel this 6. This will cancel this 1. A is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 30i. Therefore, A1 is equal to 6 plus square root of 30i. And A2 is equal to 6 minus square root of 30i. These are the values of A. Now, let's solve for B. To solve for B, then from B equal to 12 minus A, b1 is equal to 12 minus a1 is 6 plus square root of 30i then b1 is equal to 12 minus 6 minus times plus this is minus square root of 30i b1 is equal to 6 minus square root of 30i. Then b2 is equal to 12 minus a2. Now b2 is equal to 12 minus 6 minus square root of 30i. B2 is equal to 12 minus 6 plus square root of 30i. The B2 is equal to 6 plus square root of 30i. This is the value of B2. So this is A1, comma B1 is equal to 6 plus square root of 30i, comma 6 minus square root of 30i. And A2, comma B2 is equal to 6 minus square root of 30i comma 6 plus square root of 30i. We can see that the value of A here is equal to the value of B2 here and the value of B1 here is equal to the value of we can see that the value of A1 here is equal to the value of B2 here and the value of B1 here is equal to the value of A2 here. So let's check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. To check, <coughs> then we have A plus B equal to 12. AB is equal to 66. Now let's check this. Using any of this value, a plus b is equal to 6 plus square root of 30i plus 6 minus square root of 30i must be equal to 
12. Then this, we cancel this, we have 6 plus 6 must be equal to 12. 6 plus 6, this is 12, is equal to 12, which is true. Then let's confirm this. AB is equal to 66. AB is equal to 6 plus square root of 30i multiplied by 6 minus square root of 30i must be equal to 66. Then 6 times 6, this is 36. 6 multiplied by minus root 30i, this is minus 6 root 30i. Root 30i multiplied by 6, this is plus 6 root 30i. Then root 30i multiplied by minus root 30i, this is minus square root of 30i. All square must be equal to 66. And from here, this, we cancel this. We have 36 minus this, we cancel this. We have 30 multiplied by i square must be equal to 66. But i square is equal to minus 1. Now we have 36 minus 30 multiplied by minus 1 must be equal to 66. Here we have 36 minus 30 multiplied by minus 1. This is minus 30 must be equal to 66. Now 36 minus times minus 30, that is plus 30, must be equal to 66. Here we have 66 is equal to 66, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.